McTominay. Nacho back on his feet. Hard and low, and Manchester United have taken the lead. And at very close range, Scott McTominay couldn't miss. He set the ball rolling against Liverpool, and he's done the same here at Wembley. Maguire so dangerous in the air. There he is, so dangerous in the air. Harry Maguire, and it is 2-0, and we're still ticking on to the end of the first half. And that's a big setback for Coventry, but a great moment of impetus. Rashford seemed to change his mind. It gets to Bruno Fernandes, and it's ended up in the back of the net. And that could be curtains for Coventry. 3-0. And when the big games come around, Bruno Fernandes is usually at the heart of the matter. Looks and feel different, but it was his whole upper body. More defending to be done here, and it's swept in by Sims. So Coventry do get a goal, and Ellis Sims with 20 minutes left. Mark Robbins, a great goal scorer himself as a player, has brought one here to in pursuit of a moment that would give us a, a rattling good climax. O'Hare deflected. Oh, and in. it is 3-2. And we have got that climax. He's the cheerleader and the goal scorer. This is the FA Cup. Talk gets it back. Across by right. They're lining oh. up at the far post. There's a shout for handball. It's a penalty. In the 93rd minute. He waits again, Hadji Wright. That's his style. Here he goes. And scores! 3-3. Three, three. One of the great semi-final recoveries. The spirit, if you like, of 1987. But this is Mark Robbins' team now. And they are heroes to those fans. And rightly so. So, if you like, Champions League against Championship. And he's missed it, a save. It was an attempt to Penenka it. So it's Ben Chief. Oh, oh, he's missed it. Sorry for him. United have to score the last one, or maybe the last one they have... This can win it, and it does. And United will play City. It's a Manchester FA Cup final again for the second season in a row.